Good morning and welcome back again. Um, today you find myself and John in a country pub, uh, a fair few miles away from home, but uh, apparently there is reported activity here, so we thought we'd uh, give it a go and see if we can pick anything up. We'll spend a little bit of time here, maybe do the SDES session. Um, but in any case, hope you enjoy this one. Please leave a like and leave a comment as you usually do. Speak to you shortly. All I ever wanted was you, but you left me alone inside these empty broken walls. And I can't see it clearly, but it's obvious I know. So let's start this video. Um, obviously, you're not going to give you too much of a wander around. I've got a camera upstairs in the bedroom corridor, so you never know, something may be picked up. But we'll give you a, a quick view around the location. Obviously, as you can see, there's a quite a large bar area. Um, you'll see Journeyman Jr. on the bar with an MF meter, and I've placed five cat balls along the entire length of the bar. So hopefully, we'll get some activity on here. Let's just wander through and I'll show you the lounge area and kitchen. Actually, that's ideal, John, for us, isn't it? We can do the SDS there. Obviously, this will be the uh, small lounge area with the log fire there. Probably nice in its time when it was all intact. I'm not honestly sure how long this one's been shut. It must be at least two years, I would imagine. I know the last team that came here, they were interrupted by the police. Obviously a second, I don't, this may be the dining area actually, because we're next to the kitchen. Yeah, it could well be the dining area, but not an awful lot to it. It's not the biggest of pubs, but as I say, it did have activity reported, so it's always worth a try, I guess. And obviously there's the kitchen, or what's left of it. Clock stopped at just coming up to 20 to 9. Huh? Yeah, I noticed that. It's a pool, a cube. Oh, God. Snooker ball, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. It's probably all right in its time. I mean, it's all stainless steel, isn't it? Look at that, even one of them old tin openers on the side. Dishwasher. Even got some crockery, John, look at that. Yeah. You can't whack it, can you? And fly spray, that's lovely for a kitchen, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, don't open that fridge though, John. Don't open them fridges. You have to, don't you? You can't resist it. You can smell. Oh, you're a dirty bastard. What's in there? Empty shelves. How long have they been in that that's fridge? A sh that's a shower. A uh, shower. It's a fucking freezer. Tell him not to open it and he goes <laughs> in there. What'd that say? Matthew. Matthew. Fuck Matthew. <laughs> if Matthew wants to come forward and bloody talk to us, then he, he's more than welcome to. 
Mm. Yeah, I don't have any strong feelings Staff about doing a pub, metal. but we'll give it a go. What's that? Staff training metal. Staff training. When was the last? Got dates in it. When's the last date? Fourteen for the fur, but ain't got a year. Oh, this must be a couple of years old, John, mustn't it? Yeah. What's it called? The Horns, the Horn and Lodge. The Horns Lodge. The Horns Lodge. Well, there you go. That's the name of the pub. The Horns Lodge. Yeah, I was going to say it's got. It's probably got what six, seven bedrooms. Let's get ourselves back here. Maybe have a look behind the bar. Oh, hey! Big piece of road. Hey. Mm, big old bit of brickwork here fell over. Jesus, it's a bloody nightmare getting behind here. Well, let's say stay. Yeah. I haven't even got my spirit box on yet. I must put that on. You're not planning on going anywhere just yet. Yeah, John, when you come, can you do us a favour? Can you reserve that table for us? This one. Yes, please, mate. We'll reserve that. What I'll do, John, I'll give you a call when the table's ready. Yeah. <laughs> got an ashtray. Yeah, it's got to be. Obviously, in here, can't really show you much. It's had a fire. As you can see, the roof's gone. Not sure what this area was. It's obviously, some sort of storage, maybe for the beers. So, we'll avoid that area. And as you can see, there, there's pots. And they're obviously all the pots that were upstairs where they were growing their bloody cannabis. Yes, we are investigators. Let's pull this door to. Just, just an investigator. Did it? Yeah. I'd better get my spirit box on. Catball down the end going off. Is it? Oh, you can see that. Catball going off. I you. You trust us, do you? Thank you. Or well, you trust John? I wouldn't. I am the polite one out of the two of us. How oh dare you? I'm always polite. They normally call you antagonising. They do call me antagonising. Like yeah, I know. They don't really like me, do they? Still going off. All right, let's have a look. Oh, it is as well. Can you see that? Hopefully that static camera can see it. Clearly there's something up there. Let's uh, get my necrophonic meter going. Yeah, you should, you should get. Yeah. We don't for the necrophonic. Necrometer, sorry. Let's try and debunk this ball. <laughs> John, that just said minces. Are you mincing along that floor? <laughs> no. I didn't touch that then. No, you didn't. 1900s let's let's bring this here bring this bring this come forward i'm gonna is your bar made or sink let me bring that light down here a bit okay spirit clearly you're moving that cat ball along here can you maybe come to this table sit down with me and Sure, I just said. I'm going to move this camera. I'm going to come and sit at this table. Okay, if there's a spirit here with me, could you come and talk into this device I have in my hand here? I'll bring one here. Please do. Could you please maybe give me your name? I just said I'll prove I'm here, didn't it? Yeah. Or your age? Oh, Is he? You don't know. What don't you know? Please come and speak with me. 
Yeah. Is he? Have you put your pump on, Livia? Yeah. Come on, someone speak with me, please. Good old feet quiet again. Okay. We'll leave that off for a minute. We, we'll do another one shortly. Patience. Patience. <laughs> we have too many <laughs> stairs. Too many stairs. What do you mean by that, Spirit? You you shouldn't have to worry about stairs. You can float up the bleeding things. Come on. Come and move one of these cat balls. Virginia. Is Virginia upstairs? Santa Monica Beach. Mm, someone went there, obviously. The old landlord. You was religious, was you? You agree? Necrophonic. It knows I'm, I'm actually using the Necrophonic app, which is very apt. Apt. Window. What about the window? Do we have something at the window? Obviously, there's not a lot to see. It's a bit devastated. But I just want to give you a view through. Supernatural. Great. Well, that's what I'm here for, supernatural. Wires. There is a lot of wires up here. Because someone was growing cannabis. If you can see in there, let me just bring this camera down. All this dirt and plastic. That just said, watch me and get out. Didn't you want me near these cannabis plants? Don't touch it, myself. I think it's disgusting. Obviously, the police raided it and um, disposed of the cannabis plants and left everything else. As you can see in there, look, Polly on the windows. Loads of pots. A water pipe, everything. Ventilation. Someone really went to town in here. Obviously, down here, I've got my camera. What I'll do, I'll take... I'll stop that. <laughs> Keep asking. What do you want me to ask you, Spirit? I'm happy to ask you anything. <laughs> Manifest. Oh, please do. I'll stand here. Let me turn this light off. Portal. Oh, great. 12 o'clock. No, it's not spirit. It's actually 2 o'clock. So you tell me there's a portal here and you're going to manifest yourself. So please do so. You can't stay. Yes, I can. What are you going to do about it? Spirit, what are you going to do? You got no power, you got no hold. Swift is too many to count. Come on then. If you want me out of here, do something. Throw something. Come on. Come on, spirit. You're full of big words, but you haven't done anything. Manifest. Shut that door down the end of the corridor. Do something. That's a problem. They're all right to talk to you and Horrific. What is? You looking at John in the bar? Hmm. 
Come on, show yourself. Do something. My hat crooked. Terrible. Straighten that right up. Okay. Well, I've showed you around the upper level. There are quite a few words coming through. Apocalypse. Yeah, we've had that a few times now, a few weeks. I certainly hope there isn't an apocalypse. Okay, let's get ourselves back down. Virginia again, that's twice I've had Virginia. Right, okay, spirit, before I go down the stairs. Before I go down the stairs, Virginia, talk into this little box that I have in my hand here. Speak with me. Come on. Something's moving up here. Can you hear it? Mirror. Can you hear it? Something on that corridor. You all right, John? Yeah. A lot of words up here. Thoughtless. Nice, I'm not thoughtless. A lot of words up there. Nice. Words. I had Virginia twice up there. Yeah, I heard. Okay, so here we go. We're going to do this Estes session. Got an image. It's Got an image already. It's like an empty room. Empty room. That could be a couple of doors in the room, and it looks like a light at the end of the room. Oh, that was quick. Not so. Okay, so we got an image straight away, which is good. I've just remembered I bought a new camera this week. It's actually. Oh, bear with me. It's actually a field camera. And it records in night vision, takes short video clips and snapshots. So I've just put that up in the hallway upstairs. Trail cam, that's what I meant to say. So hopefully that'll pick something up while we're doing this. Okay, spirits, thank you for allowing us to be here to communicate with you this evening. Would you kindly come forward and speak for this gentleman to my left? And come and communicate with me. Go north. Shut up. I think I might record this session. Look. Look? What would you like me to look at, Spirit, please? Could I ask you a favour, please? Would you be able to show yourself in the upstairs corridor? Would you be able to come out of your hiding place and maybe walk along? Show yourself? Come and knock on the floor above me, please. Let me hear you. Thank you. Can you see that? Near me meter. Let me just bring that down a little. Thank you, Spirit. I'll appreciate any way that you can communicate. I just heard fuck off. You just heard F off? Yeah. Fuck off. Oh. It's a bit hurtful, spirit. Why do you want me to F off? Please. It's a bit nasty, isn't it? <laughs> Dylan, I believe you told me to F off last week in the church that we did. Come on, spirit. You've been dreadfully quiet. <laughs> Surely it's not the same spirit, or do you just all like saying the F word? I've got an image, but I have no idea what it is. Here we go. Well, it, you'll be seeing it now, so you can make it out yourself. It's... 
it's kind of a like a I don't know it's 2000 I can't work it out whatsoever I want to talk to his spirit that told me to F off there was movement over there then did you hear that there was something moving spirit is this you image now that looks like a a hand two hands holding a poppy oh why are you holding a poppy do we have a war veteran in spirit here please spirit come on please don't whisper speak Okay. Disagree. John's getting whispering again rather than full words. Spirit, come on. Come and communicate properly, please, so he can hear you. And while you're at it, fuck off yourself. I was being polite, but clearly you're not happy with me being here talking to you because you swore at me. So... If it takes me to swear at you and be insulting, then I will do that just to get you to come and talk to me. Come and sit in this chair, you scabby sod. Come and sit in the chair opposite me. Come on. What an image. Winding me up there, this spirit. It's a load of... Five dogs. Five dogs. Nice. Well, you can take the dogs away. Six dogs, sorry. Six dogs. Well, we are in a bar. <laughs> I apologise for that. That, is, that was wrong of me. Burke. Call me a Burke. <coughs> Outskirts, he just called me a Burke. How dare you? I thought it was a funny joke. Well, it's not very nice, this one, is it? It tells me to F off. Doesn't find me jokes funny. I'm not sure I like you, spirit. You seem a bit hurtful. Movement again over there. Something's moving on that table over there. What are you moving over there, spirit? Tell me you heard that, please. There's something over there. I don't know what it is. Turn. Turn? There's something moving over here. It sounded like that table moved. Did you move that table? Resort. Where are you, spirit? A... He's got an imp. Let's come behind the bar. And it looks like it's covered in blood. A wall covered in blood. Why are you here? I'm here to communicate with those that have passed. <laughs> I'm not sure what that said, ghost something. Let me come back round there and see what that said. Oh, sorry about that. Bloody thing. Oh, look, I've opened this door and the camera's got no shot of the stairs. Ollie. Ollie or Holly? Most likely. Image. Now that looks like a kind of a... Is that a window? With a... It looks like green fields in the background. A window with green fields. Come on spirit, give me something specific please. You've already identified yourself as, as, as a nasty spirit. I hope that trail cam upstairs is picking something up. I 
as I say, it's its first outing, so I'm hoping it works. I really wanted to use it in a graveyard or something this evening, but the church we wanted to go to was unfortunately locked down. And this was our second location for the evening. Come on, Spirit, keep communicating, please. You've started off very well. Don't let it go now. Don't ruin it. Come and move a piece of equipment on this bar. There's enough There's enough cat balls on the bar. There's an EMF meter on the bar. Putrid. Oh, that's lovely. Why did you use the word putrid, please? Not a very nice word. I want you to do something specific, please. I need you to move something, whether in this bar area or upstairs. EMF meter's going off. Hopefully this camera's picking it up. Come on, we're here to communicate. It sounded like I just said shush. Told me to shush. Okay, I'll keep quiet for a minute. Still movement over there. Let's let that go. Image. Image. That's a, an, an image of a stereotypical ghost. Really? Sheep with eyes. <laughs> ghost. <coughs> Superb. Yeah, yes. It's in a, the room with little <coughs> books behind it. That just said run. It's a ghost. Two o'clock. <coughs> so we have a ghost here, do we? I'm not going far, John. Come on. Where's this ghost that John sees? Can you come and touch John on the shoulder, maybe? We are watching you, John just said. Can you see him through there? If you're watching me, where are you? Come on. Come and show yourself to me. Nine, that sounded like John said. Come on, keep talking. You lived here, did you? Did you own the bar? Was you the landlord? Please. I'm listening. You can help me. <laughs> Haunted EMF, that just said. I've got the EMF meter going. You can help me. Yeah, can we have two points, please? And while you're at it, I'll have a packet of crisp. Let's just put the torch there. Peter. Peter. Oh, God. No, I don't want Peter. I know who this <laughs> Peter is. Soul, that just said. Agree. No, I know who this Peter is. He's a nasty piece of work that follows us around. Demonic presence, you're here. I know you are. Come and show yourself, you tosser. I just had some laughing. I bet you did have some laughing, so I just swore with it. Peter. Peter. Not very demonic, Peter, is it? Is that your name, Peter? Yes. Are you demonic? Are you evil? No. You're not evil. Thank you, Peter. So you're a nice spirit, shall we say. Could we agree to that? Peter, are you a good spirit? Sometimes. Sometimes. Thank you. 
We're watching. I know you're watching. Peter, get lost. Go shove yourself somewhere. I'm not interested in you. I know you're a nasty piece of work and I don't want to talk to you. Do you see MF meter? I'm hoping you can see this. Who's setting this meter off? Is it Peter? Is it Peter? <coughs> I'll take that as a yes. Peter, get lost, please. I'm not interested in you. Oh, getting nasty, are you? You know I won't communicate with you because you're a bad spirit. That went right image. up to Red Den, and John's got an image now. Looks like a, a kind of a forest. We've had a forest before. <coughs> greasy. Yeah, John is a little bit greasy and slimy, isn't he? Movement over there again. My pain. Your pain. What pain have you got? Please. What My pain? Neck. Your neck. Is that where the pain is? Can you tell me why your neck's painful? Did you hang? Look at that. Gone up to the red. Spirit, did you hang by your neck? Maybe. Spirit? Respond to me. Died choking. You died choking, thank you. So how did you choke? Did someone choke? Got it, got it wrong. Got what wrong, Spirit? What did you get wrong? How was you choking, please? Did someone choke you? Hung. You hung, thank you. That's what I asked you in the first instance, so you were hung. Can I ask you why you was hung, please? Was you a nasty person? Couldn't take no more. You hung yourself, you couldn't take no more. Thank you, spirit. Did you hang yourself here in this pub? Did you take your life in this pub, please? Slowly. Slowly? Image, it looks like a kind of a, an ink bottle with a purple top. Right, okay. So, did you leave a message? Is that what you're telling me? You wrote a message before you took your own life? You've already said that you'd obviously hung yourself. And it sounds like that you died slowly while you were hanging. And you're now putting a picture of an ink bottle. Did you write a note? Spirit? Did you write a note? Respond to me. Respond to me. I got it wrong. You got it wrong. So you wish you hadn't taken your own life, don't you? Don't you? Spirit, talk to me. Do you regret taking your life? Can you see that EMF meter? Image. Um, don't know if that's a window. We've had window a few times. I'm going to drop this. I can't, I can't, but it's a... Uh... Drop this down. Definitely looks like a window though. Okay. Well, it could be a bar, even. A bar? We're in the bar. That could be a mirror behind. Oh, a mirror behind, behind the bar. Behind the bar. Right there. There probably was a mirror behind that bar at one time, I would imagine. Spirit? Come on, you, you, you've started telling me about yourself. You told me that you hung yourself. Thank you for that. You're communicating again. But you took your own life. And it sounds like you regretted taking your own life. Yes. You did, thank you. I'm really sorry for that. You must have been in a quite a bad place to take your own life, spirit. 
You must have been very depressed and down. Could you give me maybe the year that you took depressed. it? Depressed. Like you were depressed, as I said. Yeah, we definitely... Okay, we definitely got something here now. I know you. You know me, do you? Where do you know me from? Spirit, where do you know me from, please? Do you follow me around, maybe? Michael. Michael. It's just said my name. Thank you for that, Spirit. I really appreciate that. Could you give me the gentleman's name that's sitting next to me, please? Could you do that? That proves to me that you're here. Give me the gentleman's name, please. I've said my name. You've said your name. You said Peter. I believe you said Amanda. I don't know. <laughs> Agreement. I'm really sorry. I forgot your name, Spirit. I'm very, very sorry. If it's not Peter. <laughs> what is your name? Please, could you repeat it? I'm awfully sorry. I didn't mean to forget it. Box. Ben. Did he say Ben? Or pen. Bloody hell. I was talking when he spoke. Did you say Ben, Spirit? Correct. Correct, okay. So your name's Ben. So Ben, can you tell me why you took your life, please? Oh, you've already told me you were depressed, wasn't you? I do apologise for that. Can you tell me why you were depressed? Did you lose somebody close to you? Is that what made you, put you in depression? Life. Life made you depressed. Okay. It can do that to people sometimes. And I'm really sorry that you got to the point where you had to take too much. life. It was too much, was it? I'm sorry about that. Image. We've got an image. And it looks like a person in a uniform. Person in a uniform. Don't tell me we've got a policeman here. I would have said, uh, kind of a army uniform. Army uniform. Take you. Yeah, I don't think so, Spirit. You're not taking me. You scumbag. All right, we've had some good communication there. There's a gentleman here. I'm not sure if it is Ben. You stay. You stay. We can't stay. As I said, we're only here to visit you, just to communicate. And you have communicated, and I really appreciate that. As I said, I'm really sorry that you took your own life or you felt you were in that place that you had to. I certainly wish that you'd pass over, though. Can you not pass into the light? Is it because you took your own life, you're not allowed to go into the light? Darkness all around. Darkness all around. Okay, I thought so. I have heard if you take your own life that you're not you're not allowed into heaven. But I'm not honestly sure I believe that. I think everybody needs to go to heaven. Are you telling me you're not allowed in heaven? Do you see? Do I see? I don't see anything. I'm hoping that one of the cameras have picked you up, Spirit. I have four cameras going tonight. I'm watching. You're watching, are you? So are you close to me? Are you behind me, maybe? Or are you in front of me? Where are you? Could you give me some guidance? You haven't answered my question, Spirit. Can you see that kettle going on? <laughs> are you sitting here, whoever you are? Are you in front of me? Are you in this chair? Please. Let me move Image. Junior out of the way. Looks like a... It looks like a, a barn of some kind. That just said definitely. And that's either sand or corn. They're kind of uh, a cornfield or... Okay. It could be sand, but it's definitely a barn. Did oh. you take your life in this barn, maybe? Maybe. 
image Oh, that looks kind of religious. It's like four people. Okay. And I'd say it's kind of religious. Four people and religious. I've no idea. Obviously, you'll see the image up on screen, so you can you can judge for yourself. Oh. We're not going to go for too much longer. If this is um, this spirit that took his own life, you're communicating through the MF meter. I can see that. Um, could you give me something, just a little more before we pack up and return home? Could you maybe tell me a little bit more about yourself? Would you be able to do that? Was you married, for instance? Did you have a wife? Spirit, did you have a wife? Could I ask that of you, please? Or maybe you are a lady, but if you're Ben, as you said... You're... Claire. Claire. That was your wife's name, was it? Claire. Was you happily married to Claire? Please. Was you happy in your marriage? Please, Spirit. She left. She left you. Now we get to the bottom of it. Now we're starting to find out why you took your own life. Did Claire leave you for another man, Spirit? Did she cheat on you? Don't, don't be nervous about telling me. Did she cheat on you, please? Died. She died. Now, sorry. I completely messed that up and got that wrong. I thought she'd left you and cheated, but you left because... Sorry, she left because she died. Is this why you got depressed and took your own life? Haunt. What are you haunting? Did Claire come back to haunt you when she died? Did Claire drive you to end your own life? You like to come here, thank you. Is this the spirit I'm talking to that took his own life? There's still movement over there in that corner. Is that you mulling around in the corner over there, spirit? In front. You're in front. It is in front of me. The corner's in front of me. I'm looking at it. What I'm trying to understand is you. You, you took your own life. Your wife was called Claire. She passed. You're clearly depressed and you killed yourself. But right, I've got an image that looks like a cornfield, and there's a what is it about a dark fields? shadow and a dark shadow in the corner. Is this you in a field? Where did you take your life, spirit? We've had a lot of woods tonight as well. Did you take your life in a forest? I think whatever this spirit is, he's getting, he's getting confused now. I think I've had the best out of him. I think I know a lot about himself. But I don't know everything. But I do know that he took his own life. He hung himself because his wife died. Claire. So thank you for that. I've, I've, I'm, I'm going to leave you now, if I may. I really appreciate the communication. You were spot on. Thank you. Um, he's going to say something. Why did you come? Why did we come? I, I come to actually communicate with anything that may be here. I didn't hold much hope when I arrived. I didn't really want to come to this bar. But I'm glad I did because I've got to talk to you. We do this really on a weekly basis we visit locations to speak to spirit like yourself because we want to understand you we want to realize that there is life after death even if you're stuck in this location you can't cross leave here we are leaving here shortly thank you i'm going to leave my love with you in any case i will leave god's love with you even if you can't cross into the light I hope that at some point you're allowed in. So please go in peace. God bless to you.
I just felt like I saw something move. Did you? Over in that corner. Oh, don't. I've had, I've had movement in that corner all the way through this session. What corner? Over there. What there? Yeah. It, it could have been those shadows. Well, something's been moving over there because I keep hearing the noise. I just, I just, I just saw it out of the corner of my eye. It's on. like that table keeps moving slightly. Okay, so thank you for joining myself and John on this explore of this old pub. Um, we certainly had a lot of communications going on towards the end. The S test session was a lot better this week, thank God. Um, and clearly, as you all have heard by now, we did pick up a gentleman that took his own life. But I hope you enjoyed the video in any case. Please leave a like and drop a comment as usual if you would. I really appreciate your comments. Until the next one, take care of yourselves. God bless to you. See you later. See you later.